So tomorrow we have an opportunity to take this thing for, the, for its first actual test drive. Somebody reached out to me on Instagram a little while ago and offered for me to be able to take this thing to his property somewhere in Tennessee to be able to finally test drive this thing. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. But before we can do that, we just have to do a couple things to this thing first to get it ready. All right, so the first thing is I kind of don't like how low the rear suspension sits. Uh, I know the look of a VW Bug is, is the front end sitting a little bit higher than the rear, but right now it's a lot higher. So let me, let me tighten these shocks up and see if I can get the rear suspension to sit just a little bit higher. Something like, something like that. Especially when I accelerate, I was watching the video of me you know, doing a burnout with this thing. As soon as I hit the throttle, the rear end just kind of slams down. So hopefully tightening these up will not fix that, but at least make it not as bad. All right, let's try that. It's almost at the bottom, not quite, but maybe about half an inch more threads. So, I mean, if this doesn't work, I can always look into seeing if I can get stronger springs for this thing. I mean, that definitely helped. Yeah, that definitely helped a lot. I almost wonder if it's too much. I don't know, I think it's, I think it's almost perfect. All right, next thing is we need to figure out where to put a coolant overflow tank on this thing. Now, I totally did not just steal this off of the mini rock crawler project. Totally didn't do that. Now, all we have to do is figure out where to put this thing and then hook it up to the radiator. Yeah, there's not really any great spot for it, but it kind of fits right around here. Yeah, I guess it kind of works right there. Yeah, it's summertime. I'm just gonna put some water in it. I'm kind of out of coolant. Now, some of you guys were pointing out in the last couple videos of this project is my belt tension looks to be a little bit loose. And after watching some videos on proper belt tension, yeah, I think that's a little too loose. Now, normally on a snowmobile, you tighten it by adjusting this, but because I have a jack shaft, I'm just gonna loosen these bolts and slide it forward a little bit. Yeah, I think that is, I think that's a lot better. Also, when I moved the jack shaft forward, it loosened the chain. So I had to put some extra washers under the pillow blocks to lift it up a little bit more to re-tension the chain. But I think that's pretty good. Belt tension is pretty good now.
property. This is Brian. Hello all. Yes. Huge thank you for letting me do this because I've been looking for a place to take this thing and drive it. Yeah, so. man. I've been, I've been watching the build and uh, I finally realized you were close by. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I've got the perfect place. You don't even have to drive that far. Yeah. This was not a far drive at all. Yeah, it was 35 minutes. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. So we have this area that we can do donuts in. I'm, that's awesome. There's some trails up there that we're going to go explore. There may be some downed trees, so we're going to take this thing up there and go check it out. But yeah, this is awesome. I may have to let it warm up for a little bit, just because, uh, hopefully it fires up. <laughs> So it's not running perfect, but uh, holy crap, this thing is nuts. Once I get it running better, because I'm, tr I'm trying to do a donut with this thing, I'm having to stand on uh, on these rear brakes to get it to turn around. The steering is, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's more of a suggestion with this thing, which is why I'm really glad that I added the differential with the, the cutting brakes. If, it, if this did not have cutting brakes, yeah, I would not be able to turn with this thing at all. The front, I mean, are the front tires on the ground? No. Much? No, the inside one is like a good 10 inches off the ground. One, 
in the air a little bit. Yeah, oh, you're, you're hanging the front wheels. Really? Hanging the front wheels way off the ground, at least the inside one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to do a donut with this thing. It's just, as soon as it starts going in, into corner, it bogs down for some reason. So we gotta figure out, we gotta figure out why that's, also it's at 200 Fahrenheit. Is that too hot? I think so. It really? Well, then again, I mean, it's still running pretty good. Yeah. You could probably could use a fan on that radiator. I, I, have you recorded how tight it is in there for your feet? Yeah, so if this could, is what I'm working with. You can see it. My knees are up against this, and this is how much uh, room I have in here. Not a lot. This thing is a little bit cramped, I will admit. I kind of wish I stretched the fiberglass body, but I, I did not want to cut this thing in half and then have to mess with fiberglass. I did not really want to do that. But, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's not super cramped in here, but it's not the roomiest, so. It looks cool. Do you want to try it? I do not. <laughs> I, I'm certain I will not fit. Uh, all right. So Brian wants to see if he if he can <laughs> fit. Six foot two. I can already tell it. <laughs> this just shows you how small Chris is. Yeah, it helps being small. You can build smaller stuff. I can assure you, if I tried get if I got any further in, I wouldn't come back out. <laughs> I am certain of that. Uh, maybe I should have built it a little bit bigger. <laughs> I mean, it maybe gives it a little bit better scale. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is tiny. So take two, I put some more gas in the gas tank, because I, I, why is it bogging down so much when I'm trying to do a donut? So we're almost thinking maybe it's because we didn't put that much gas in the gas tanks. So we put some more in, hopefully, it's, hopefully it'll run a little bit better. so fast. This thing is a wild ride. Holy crap. So I mean, could it just be down to the thing of it's just it's just carburetors? Not generally. I mean the float bowls should be well, maybe the float level. Maybe check the float level, maybe the bowls aren't all the way full. Maybe. I mean this thing is this thing is a bit to handle. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I'm mainly using the rear brakes. I'm not using the front that much and I'm at and yeah if this so if this did not have the differential and the turning brakes cutting brakes whatever you want to call it I would not be able to turn this it thing. It would not steer. I tried turning the wheel and it just under is it oversteer or understeer? Understeer. Understeer. Yeah. This thing understeers like crazy which I kind of I kind of had a feeling. I kind of had a feeling which is why I'm glad I added the differential but I mean, so that sucks. So I'm I'm trying to do a donut with this thing, and as soon as I as soon as I start start getting the back end to whip around, I give it more throttle. It just bogs right down. As soon as you set it in hard, it just loses it. Yeah. So it could be that it's just because it's carbureted. Yep. Or well, even maybe still, it's, maybe it's not tuned properly. Yeah, but it rips so hard straight. Yeah. Yeah. 
how fast do you think you're going? I have no idea. I mean, it had to 35? be. Yeah, 35, 40 at least by the time you got to here. And this is a scary thing about these engines. I can hear that that's like half throttle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's half RP. Yeah. So. The clutches seem to be working really well. Yeah, now that, now that I adjusted the belt tension, it's engaging a lot faster. It's not as, uh, as resist not resistive but hes hesitation hesitant yeah hesitant. there's no there's not a big belt lag yeah exactly so so i'm gonna so i kind of want to just get some more and then let's head off in the woods let's get in the woods yeah cool let me do, let me do a couple more because this is fun <laughs> It is. That, I didn't shut it off. It died. There, there's something. It's not happy. There's something with the fuel, unfortunately. Well, we just looked up uh, the running temperature of these engines. What was it? 100 and. Uh, the, yeah. The, the the Google says it's going to be around 160 degrees. Is is hot. 160 is hot, and it's at a little over 200 Fahrenheit. So. Yeah, it's getting a, it's getting a bit warm, which uh, I mean, it's I'm not going that fast, so there's not much airflow airflow going through. Uh, wow, yeah, and this thing's been sitting for a little while, so yeah, I so we think the reason it's bogging down so much, the reason every time I stop the engine just dies is maybe it's overheating, it's heat soaking, heat soaking. So maybe this radiator isn't big enough because I was. I, I've had some people tell me that this radiator is too big. Other people are telling me like, no, it's perfect size. And then I was wondering like, do I need to put radiator, fan, radiator fans on this thing? So this is the test. Now we know this thing needs radiator fans. So that's the next thing I need to add. But for now, I'm just trying to not overheat the engine too much. I'm still trying to... See, we have another issue that we're kind of thinking. Yeah, the, the fuel line's kind of pinching. We, I don't know we, if you can see it. We brought it up a little bit more, but right here the fuel line was kind of pinched, so we almost wonder maybe is it a fuel issue, not getting enough fuel, which you don't want to do with a two-stroke. You do not want to run these engines lean, so we're trying not to blow this thing out. We're trying not to overheat it, and we're trying not to run it lean. So, yeah, a little bit more tuning with this thing, and then this thing is pretty much dialed, but uh, we're gonna go up in the woods, clear some trails. We're gonna let this thing cool off for a little bit more, and hopefully, once we're done clearing the trails, it, uh, it'll run a little bit better and get some better shots in the woods. How's that sound? Yep. Perfect. grab goggles for that oh, yeah. <laughs> I have so much stuff in my eyes <laughs>
He's yeah, warm. Yeah, this thing is not running perfect. Yeah, it is. It's when it heats up. Yeah. When it really started running rough, it was probably what 170, 180. 190. Okay. 197. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a bit warm. Yeah, it's a bit warm. <laughs> so, I'm trying not to blow this motor up, but I'm also trying to show what this thing can do. So. I think we've got a couple good shots. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Cool. So 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 should we let it cool down? Yeah. Yeah. Let's let it cool down. I'd like to do a couple more rips. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as this is i think we are cooking this engine <laughs> afraid so pal so it was just with that it was a 178 so yeah i think i need to do something with the radiator i think it's uh, yeah i think you've got a foul plug now really yeah because of the lean as you... much as i want to keep getting really cool shots because do these look cool yeah yeah when you're coming down through this way yeah. I'm like, wow, he's going way faster than I thought he was going. Yeah. Because I'm just staring at the at this monitor the first few times that you went down through the trail. Yeah. And it, when I actually watched you, I'm like, wow. <laughs> I'm like, I wonder if he remembers there's a corner down there. Yeah, I had to slam <laughs> the brakes on right yeah. there. Because you were cooking. Yeah. But I, I, I think we're cooking this engine, unfortunately. And I... Well, I mean, which uh, I mean, but it's, I mean, this is what, what it needs. You know, this is the first test. Right. So now we know this radiator is not big enough. It's not getting enough airflow and possibly even running lean, which is not good. All, all, all of the above are bad. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And it's a freshly rebuilt engine, so I don't want to blow it up. It was. It was. Yeah, not, not anymore. So not yeah, it. I think let's call it unfortunately okay. i need to fix this thing i need to get it running better because it's i mean there's so much more yeah this well when it rips it's ripping hard yeah like you can yeah. it's totally audibly noticeable just yeah wildly different when it opens up yeah and scary fast and i'm half throttle yeah <laughs> Holy crap, this thing is so much fun we just need to get it running better we just need to do some tuning on this thing get it running cooler and then uh, I think then we'll have a good running engine, a good vehicle. With a, with a well-tuned yes. triple in the back of this thing, it's going to rip so hard. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's the wheelie video. Yeah. Yeah, right now it's, uh, I mean, this thing has, I, I think it has power to wheelie. It's, it's just missing traction. traction. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So Can you try leaning back a little? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just bang my head Yeah, just bang your head. Oh man, this thing is fun. Man, this thing is fun. All right, I think let's call it. I don't, okay. I don't want to blow this thing up.